Um, welcome to the next in the, the Presco Lunchtime Sessions. Uh, these are the webinars and I am Rob Webben and we are trading 15 minutes of your very precious time um, in return to, for the opportunity to meet someone amazing from our network and beyond. So Presca, you know, we have this community of real kind of activists and change makers and this is all about introducing you to them so you can hear about the great stuff they're doing. Um, I'm afraid because these sessions are so short, then we are we're not taking questions. But I will share we will share information about how you can get in touch with Jan afterwards, um, because I'm sure you want to learn more about her incredible work. So I am super happy to be able to introduce you to um, to Jan Jan Stanard from Heal Rewilding. Um, I'm really excited. We've, we've, we're launching a collaboration with with Jan with Heal. So it's a jersey. Every a percent of every sale is going directly to fund the incredible work you're about to hear about. Um, but that's enough from me. I'd love to hand over to Jan. Uh, tell us more about yourself in just a minute or so. I know that's not a lot of time, but your background and and tell us about Heal. Yeah. So I'm really pleased to be here. Thank you so much for asking uh, me um, as a as the sort of main face of Heal. Um, uh, my background, um, geography degree, went off into business, got to the age of 65, which I'm happy to say I am. And I thought, oh, we've we've absolutely screwed, <laughs> screwed the planet and nature. And I need to divert my life entirely to doing everything I can for the time I have left to try to fix it. Incredible. Incredible. OK, so so tell us tell us the thing that you're most proud of that you want to talk about and, and kind of shout to the community today. I'm really proud of having created or helped to create with my trustee colleagues, there are six of us, an organisation which means that anyone anywhere, not just in the UK, but in the world, can become involved in helping restore nature and fighting climate change, nature in England, so that's our focus. And in just over two years, we have um, amassed 10,000 followers on social media, we've got 2,000 people on a um, sub newsletter subscription, uh, Direct Line Group are lending us, affordably lending us three million pounds for our first two sites. Um, we're in discussion with Trier Doss about the balance. We built up a, um, a land fund into six figures. Um, and we are working at warp speed because this is a nature crisis and a climate crisis and they are inextricably intertwined and we have to act fast. And our mission is raise money, buy land, rewild it in England, a heel site in every county so no matter where you live one day we'll be there and we want these sites to be what are called mid-scale so 500 acres that's quite a big farm I think is how you might think about it with buildings where everyone can gather and nature can recover I think that's a, a heck of a mission and I love the fact that this is for everyone so uh, tell tell me more about that why why is that so important for you um, it's what we when we launched, we got a huge amount of positive feedback and people said, I felt so helpless. I watch nature disappear around me and I watch the catastrophes in other countries. What can I do? And we've had two donations of one pound. And that is what we wanted. We wanted the small, no matter how small that people could make a difference. But we also have a, a crowd donating scheme where people can sponsor for 20 pounds, they can sponsor a three meter by three meter square within our site. So we don't have our first site yet, but that will happen, we hope in the next six months in the South of England and every site will have a what three words address. So people will be allocated a square and they'll know where it is on our site. And um, and that and, and it's essentially everyone together. So we are. This is not going to get fixed by the government. They ha they can't afford it. We've all individually and companies, businesses have got to come together to solve this problem. Not for profit because we're a charity, registered charity, but for wild things and for all of us because well-being is as our third pillar, along with nature recovery and climate change action. Yeah, oh, that's so great. And you're so right about well-being and being nature and the positive effect that can have us on us all. Um, do you want to just quickly elaborate on the on the what three words or the, the, the three meter square? We've that's something we've done for all the employees in the company. I think uh, Jamie, the tech guy, I think we'll probably share the, the link when we put this onto YouTube and with everyone in the, in the meeting as well. But tell us more. How can people get onto that and, and get involved? Um, the half of our um, of each site, this is the plan, will be. Um, made available to individuals to sponsor one or more squares and people are giving them as friends to uh, as presents to friends at christmas they're giving them as wedding gifts now um 
and we and, and people celebrating their anniversaries um people's birthdays so um heal the healrewilding.org.uk page has a heal three by three link and and you you simply sponsor so um the it's 20 pounds to um we use that money and it's restricted so we put it in a land fund so we only use it to um to pay for the land um and um and then we have a three pounds a year upkeep so if you want to stay connected with that piece of land you pay us three pounds a year. That's what the money we need as a charity to pay for things like insurance and fencing and people to kind of uh, look after our land. And um, we think three pounds a year is 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 a bargain to to stay connected with a piece of land. The what three words is a, a dressing system. Um, three words like uh, clock dot pen dot cup, and that will literally take you to your square. And we're going to be offering surveys, so ecological surveys of square, what species are in there what flies over the top, what runs through it, and also drone photography. You can lock a drone onto a What Three Words address. It's extraordinary. And then we can take photographs year one, year three, year six, or whatever, and, and see how the square changes. Oh, that's cool. That's amazing. That, that, that kind of the verification piece, I think, is is critical. And as as is the storytelling, isn't it? It's about get, you know getting people involved and then engaged and continuing to be engaged. And like you say, for the price of less than a coffee a year it seems like a really good um a really good thing to be doing um tell me jan about why rewilding why did you choose this as as your tool to make a difference conservation has been a brilliant uh, way of helping species to be preserved and to preserve key habitats but there is not enough space for nature in this country and in line with what scientists say and what the government is, is going for, what needs to happen is that more places dedicated to nature um, are created in this country. We are contributing to that goal. Uh, and rewild is we, rewilding is incredibly effective because it's led by nature. So it's not an interventionist approach. You don't say we want to um, create an environment suitable for this particular butterfly or bird or mammal. You let nature decide and it's done so for millennia and it really knows what it's doing. And tree, natural regeneration of trees. You only plant trees if there aren't parent trees. Trees know how to make more trees. So yeah. that's the that's the very top line approach. Amazing. And so Charles has asked a brilliant question uh, in the chat which is um, what's the main hurdle that you need to address apart from cash of course what is the, what's your biggest hurdle and and what is what is the thing that people most misunderstand about rewilding when you're trying to i suppose sell this to the general public if you take cash out i don't awareness i think because mm -hmm. as a small charity we don't yet have sufficient funding for a fantastic awareness campaign so that i think that that's the greatest hurdle it's it's uh, organic incremental rather than a big bang awareness um and what's the second one sorry um so um what well i think you've answered both Rewilding, of what, misunderstanding I think yeah, yeah 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 they they um they they don't necessarily understand how different it is from existing methods of trying to preserve what we have that it's about creating space and saying to nature this is yours now we will support you, we'll repair some damage, but we'll leave it to you. Um, and clearly nature isn't a, 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 a person, but, but nature's been called mother nature. So that's, that's um, people understanding that it's a different way of helping nature to recover is, is I would say the main takeaway I'd like people to, to have Amazing. from this. Amazing. We, we are, I, I can't believe it, but we're already getting close to the kind of, to the 15 minutes, but, um, I'm going to I'm going to kind of play devil's advocate and I'm sure you heard it, hear this a lot. What, what do you say to the argument of you're looking for 500 acre sites, you're taking productive land out of out of the food system. We all need food, obviously, in future. What's what's the comeback to that? What, what are the other benefits of rewilding? The rewilding delivers not just um, the insects that agriculture needs without without the insect, without ecology, without nature being um, in good state, uh, agriculture is threatened. It delivers soil health, it delivers clean water, it holds water so it doesn't flood adjacent farmers fields. Um, it delivers a lot for agriculture. And generally speaking, the scale at which, uh, and the places in which rewilding is done 
is you know, we can't afford to buy pre prime agricultural land and it's it, and it's and it's it's making land do other things for us as a nation which we we really need and 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 the farming system is a is a whole different system but 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 it one so um support for farming is a byproduct of rewilding and support for nature should be a byproduct of farming and that's how the two work together Oh, I love that approach. It certainly isn't, is it, at the moment? The, the kind of made, you know, a traditional um, industrialised agriculture is certainly not a support, a support for nature, but I would love it if we could flip that mindset. And so they, they kind of work hand in hand would be, oh, that's, that's the dream, isn't it? It is. Wonderful. Jan, I, like I say, we're, we're already busting through the time. Um, but what I would like to do then is ask, go through kind of three quick fire questions um, that we'll be asking every single week. Um, I'd love to hear your take on um, what community means to you with regards to HEAL and, and, and why that's, that's all so important. HEAL is all about community, a national community and then a local with each of our sites, bringing people together to share, to laugh, to um, learn and just the, um, the magic that happens when we come together is absolutely critical, not just um, in, in, in a place, but online. Oh, do you know, so so last, a couple of weeks ago, we came to an event that you hosted in Bristol, um, which was uh, fantastic. It was a really positive event about, you know, about rewilding both the land and the sea. I came away from that just feeling like community, community, community. That's, it's all about collaboration, isn't it? We cannot do this alone. There's no company, charity, single group that's going to be able to say, yeah, we can right. make a, the, the, the size of the impact needed. So um, oh, I love that. I love that. And, and I think um, being able to open up your sites to to people for the health benefit and that community coming together is is wonderful actually do you want to quickly touch on that how will you open up your sites to people yes so assume 500 acres half will be closed because nature doesn't like us as predators but it clearly be accessible to staff and volunteers and and, and if there are big sponsors they, they will be able to come in and then half of the site will be completely open in the sense that there will be paths and if there are footpaths, obviously people can use those. Um, and all we will do is make sure that people um, don't trample over it, because again, it's about respecting the ecology, but our sites will be free to enter with a requested donation, because we want to be as inclusive as possible and as near big populations as possible. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, that's something I hadn't actually realized. Sorry, I'm, I'm going on and on because I'm so excited about this, but I hadn't realized that, that was the point about focusing on England was to be near population centers, right? Correct. To, to, and to lowlands, get... not uplands, because yeah. yeah. if you're a long way away in Scotland, then no one who lives in the south of England can reach them. And the south of England is our first uh, Somerset to Kent. The site will be in that one of those counties. Brilliant. Someone said recently, you can't love what you can't see. And I think that's so true. I, yeah. I, I, I yeah. love yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I the other thing that I haven't said, I must say, is that if you think of all the countries and territories in the world, we are two, England is 234th worse, in, a, in a, that's bad, for nature, state of nature. Oh. So there are 233 countries doing, what are we, what are we ever 234th at? It, it's, it's dire. Yeah. That's why England is a focus and why it needs to happen here. Wow. Okay. Gosh, yeah, that, that's a horrible fact, isn't it? It really is. Um, next question, why should we care about the climate? Big question. Because there's no future without it. Yeah. For our children, our children's children. And already, all over the world, and the weather incidents are becoming too frequent to think that it's just the norm. Yeah. So it's already having impacts in places that can't afford for those impacts to happen. Yeah, you're right. I think we are lucky and fairly insulated from it here, although we, we won't be in time. But like you say, it's happening uh, at a rapid pace elsewhere, isn't it? I remember when we spoke first time, we had a lovely conversation for well over an hour. And one of the things we talked a lot about was eco-anxiety, um, something which kind of hits me occasionally, especially with my young kids. Um, and I, I loved your approach of positivity there. And, and I remember we talked about the psychology of that as well. We did. Um, uh, finally, then, what makes you feel positive? We have these big challenges. You have big challenges in business, but clearly you're doing some amazing things. What makes you feel positive on a day-to-day -day basis? Because every day, pretty much every day, an amazing message comes in, or I have a phone call or a session like this, and I know that there are millions and millions of people who want to support the sort of work we're doing. And um, yeah, it's been an it's in 40 years of working, these are the most joyful, more than 40 years of working, these are the most joyful two years since she launched two years ago, the most joyful two years and 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 
um, satisfying two years I've ever spent, although it's been really hard work. But um, yeah, so working in this and knowing that rewilding is so amazing for nature is what gives me joy and optimism. Fantastic. And and hard work is easier, right? When you're surrounded by a good team. And I've met some of your team and they were very impressive. Really, really. Yeah. So, so and so many other people working on this, too, as a community of people in rewilding. Yeah. Nature restoration. Great. Great. Uh, Jan, thank you. Before we finish up, um, please, can you tell us and the audience how they can find out more? Should they learn to wish more about either you yeah. or Heal or both? We are at on the in the web at healrewilding.org.uk we are at heal at heal rewilding on socials um twitter um facebook instagram instagram is the main one twitter facebook and linkedin um and what we need is friends of heal so you can belong to heal and and give us money um every year every month that is critical to us continuing as an organization you can um support with a one-off donation you can do a hill three by three square anything you do will make a difference because we can't, we don't sell anything we don't sell cycling kit we we only exist because people give us money their money and share their share their money with us and and we use it to good effect amazing and and aside from from money another thing that everyone could do is share the message right tell people about here share the message and, and also yeah and also when the time comes volunteer we'll be training I'm there. surveying yeah so on your app picking up what's on the site coming back and telling us so it's those yes yeah, those three things financial support um support with your time and um and to spread the word ah, brilliant I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Jan, so much. I'm sorry that's flown so quickly. I'm, I'm going to finish up with a, a, something from, from, from Charles again. It sounds radical. You should apply to Dragon's Den to increase awareness and get some cash on board. And Charles says you have his full support. So um, so when we, when we get into the Dragon's Den, we'll, we're all behind you. Um, that was brilliant. Thank you. Um, so there we are. Very short, uh, but very sweet. We've learned from, from Jan that for, well, as little as a pound, uh, you can you can get involved with Heal. Uh, Twenty pounds, you can sponsor a, a three by three square, and for less than the price of a coffee every year, you can sponsor the ongoing kind of um, upkeep of that square. Um, I hope you've all found it listening uh, interesting. Everyone listening now, and then in future on YouTube as well. Um, hope you found it as positive and as stimulating as I have. Um, Jan, it's brilliant to hear from you. Thank you. It's lovely to see you again. I really appreciate your time. Thank you for being part of the chats. Um, and then I would say if you've enjoyed today's session, um, please dial in next week. Next week, we've got Pamela Ravazio, who is uh, an amazing supply chain um, ethics and sustainability specialist. Um, come along to that and, and find out what it really means to set up a business that is better for people and for planet. Um, until then, have a brilliant weekend. Jan, thank you. I hope you, you all get to go and um, ride your bikes, hit the trails, get out in nature, because that's what we all need, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Take care then. Bye bye. Thank you.